Hey everyone, welcome back to Living by the F Word, or if you're new here, welcome to Living by the F Word. My name is Jess. I create videos around F words that I'm passionate about. Now today I am doing a what's in my bag video, and in particular it is a new bag that I got by Bayes, which is the convertible mini weekender bag. So I'm gonna give you a close up of this bag and tell you a little bit about the company. But first, just in case you are new here, I am a flight attendant for a major US airline and I also am a festival enthusiast. So I travel a lot. Travel is pretty much a huge part of my life. I'm constantly traveling and I really needed a new tote bag for work. And so I treated myself to this bag for my birthday. So if you're into any of those things, if you're into travel, please consider joining the F Word Lovers by hitting that subscribe button below. And also, if you're into travel, I do just want to announce quickly that I have a new podcast out called What the Flight Radio. It is a podcast for in-flight crew, frequent flyers, and anyone that gives a ding about aviation and travel. So go check that out as well. Now let's get into the bag. All right, everyone. So here is a close up of the mini weekender. It is the convertible mini weekender because this bottom part does zip off. So Bayes is a brand by Shay Mitchell. She is a actress, a model, an author. So it's a popular celebrity brand, but I actually did not know much about it. My coworker posted this bag and I thought it would work well for me because I am a bag lady, you guys. I am a maximalist, I'm not a minimalist. So I bring a lot of stuff with me. And also since I'm a video creator, podcaster and content creator, I usually have to bring my laptop and my external hard drives and a lot of gear with me most of the time on most trips. So yeah, I really thought this might be a great fit for me. Now, the, the thing about the Bayes bags is that they are made for functionality and dual purpose. So that's why this convertible part really works well because you can take this off and then you just have a bag if you wanna go out with. So I'm gonna mess around and see how my current bag items fit in this and I'm gonna show you all the features, but pretty much they have luggage, diaper bags, backpacks, if you're interested in checking this brand out. And yeah, I'm really excited to look at it. You could tell I still have all the tags on it. So uh, this really is my first look at it and we will see how it goes. So right off the bat, you can see there's an outside zipper here, okay? And it goes, you can see all the way down to this bottom part here. So I feel like this would be really good to have my passport or maybe even my cell phone or my car keys because they're really easy access. And I like that it zips. Lots of times outer pockets, they just like have a magnet or they don't zip. And so I like the fact that it has a zipper and the zippers do glide really nicely as well from what I can tell so far. Now, this is what the, the feature of the bottom part that I really liked because I could put my in-flight shoes or even if I'm traveling for pleasure and leisure, I could put high heels or fit other things in here or maybe my equipment for podcasting, we will see. So basically it zips off. It, it does zip off completely, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna be actually packing for work for a work trip. So uh, just know that it does zip off completely. But yeah, this is a little bottom mesh pocket area. I don't wanna rip it. Um, that you can put your shoes and items in. So I will show you different ways to work with that. I have seen some other reviews where they say to leave this cardboard in, otherwise this loses shape, like it gets very flex. So I'm probably gonna leave that in just an FYI, but we'll see what I could fit in there in a little bit. Okay, so now opening up the top here, it is a uh, doctor's style bag. So this is wired. So they basically call it like an old school doctor's bag so that it opens. Now you can tell this bag without anything in it, it's not really keeping shape. So, I mean, I know I'm gonna have this thing filled to the brim. So when it does have stuff in it, look how like big it is. It's huge. I feel like it could fit a lot. So one of the features is this laptop sleeve inside, which I like if you have a tablet or if you have, you know, a laptop. It says it fits a 15 inch laptop. However, 
I already tried to put my 15 inch MacBook Pro in here and it didn't fit. I do have an older edition though. So I have a 2012 MacBook, which is a lot thicker than some of the newer laptops. So I'm sure if you have a newer one, it would probably fit. So I will see what I do with that later. So looking inside the bag here, we have this opening that I think I'm still gonna be able to fit my laptop in. That's where the tablet and laptop sleeve normally goes. I'm still gonna find use for that. Um, so we'll see once I actually pack my bag. It does have this key fob string, which is really nice because I'm always digging for my keys. So I'll be looking forward to using that on this side, which I'll flip around so it's a little easier to see, but you have two pockets here, inside pockets that do not have any type of zipper. And then you do have a big, large inside zippered pocket, which is nice if you want to put your wallet or anything valuable in there. Now getting back to the outside pocket on the back here, first of all, it does have this long strap, which I will probably take off and not use. And it has this outside pocket, which is also nice for easy access, but it does become a trolley bag. So if you open it up, you can fit it over your luggage, which is what I'm gonna be doing when I have my work trips and my personal travel trips as well. So just remember that if you have this open and then you decide to take it out for your layover or something like that, make sure you zip this back up because the last thing you wanna do is slip something important in there and it fall out. I kind of just want to show you what I'm currently working with. So this is the Tumi just in case tote. It basically is just a very large bag that can fit a lot of things, but there, there's no, there's no style to it. And then inside the Tumi bag is actually this whole other bag. So this for a long time, this was my tote bag, okay? But I have completely worn it out, which is why I got the Bayes bag. I completely broke the straps. Like that's how much stuff I bring. It's so heavy. I will show you, let's pack the bag. guys I have packed up my bag you can see it is bulging I have so much stuff in here which is really great so in the outside pocket I have my wallet and my passport um, which I need for easy access but I will say with my bag completely packed like this like I don't know if this is really easy access for me be just because my wallet is so big um, I have tried to downsize my wallet before, but it just like hasn't worked for me because I, I really need, I guess need to reorganize my wallet and maybe get a smaller one. So I might have to readjust this um, because as you can see, this is really tight. So if I were to go through a security line to get my ID out and then I'm still gonna be like fiddling to get this back in. So it's not as easy access as I had hoped, but that's just because of my wallet. You may be different. It definitely is very easy access for something like a uh, passport here, or even I could probably slip my cell phone in there. So if I wanted to slip my phone in there, you know, that is very easy access there for that. Um, kind of have to figure this out. I guess I might keep this on the inside like I did with my old bag, just because it is a really thick wallet. So really not the bag's design's fault, just something I need to work through with reorganizing. Um, once we open up the bag, it does pop open and I have a ton of stuff in here. I want to kind of show you a close up if I can. So I have my laptop back here, which does fit, okay? So they said that the, the sleeve was 15 inches, but because I have an older edition, it is a lot thicker. So just be mindful of that. So I have that in the sleeve, sleeve where this sleeve normally would be, which I, as you can tell, I put my book that I read, my tarot journal, my regular journal back here. So this opens up and my regular journal is back there. So I really like this because 
basically if I were to be a passenger on a flight or if I was deadheading for work, I could just slide this out and it could be under my seat and it has all my in-flight things that I need because I also have pens and I also have hand sanitizer and a sleep mask in here. Okay, I have my in-flight shoes and apron in here in that bag. This roller is kind of big. I usually bring smaller ones. I do have a smaller one in my lunch bag, so I might just get rid of this, honestly, because it's kind of unnecessary. Um, I have my laptop charging cable, so if I ever were to be a passenger, I could just slide this out, slide this out, and take that, so I really do like that. I think that's really easy. Um, I do have in here, this is like my bag that I keep all of my cables and charging devices in. So I keep them all in one bag. And then inside of this bag, I also have more pens and pencils for journaling. I'm a big journaler and tarot person. So I even have my tarot deck in here with crystals in another separate bag. This came with the Tumi bag. So yeah, I have a full deck in here and crystals. So some people might be like, dang, you're crazy. You bring all that, but yeah, I do. <laughs> um, this is a bag with hand sanitizer and creams and lotions. So as you can tell, like I kind of, I'm big on having bags so you could just grab what you need out and it's all like in one place. In this bag here, it's kind of hard to see, but this is my work device phone. So uh, for work, this is what I need. So I always have that where it's accessible because most of the time I'll have that work phone in a pocket in my uniform, but I keep the bag on the inside pocket. So I have that in one of the open inside pockets and I have my sunglasses bag in the other one. So this is my sunglasses bag. So I like the open inside pockets for things like that. But as you can tell, like I've organized everything in other little separate bags to keep it really neat. And then on the inside zipper pocket, I have extra masks just because we're still flying during COVID. And I have my jewelry bag, which actually is empty right now. So if I actually were to have jewelry in there, that might become a problem because this is really full. I will say that I'm already missing the fact that there's nowhere to put my water canister. Like there's no, side pocket for that. I do have side pockets on my lunch bag, but you know, if I was traveling not for work and don't have my lunch bag, then this I'm gonna have to clip on with this canister probably onto here. There are rings for you to clip things on. So I mean, that would still work for me personally, but it might not work for someone else. And then zipping it back up, like because mine is so mega full, like it is filled to the brim. It is a little hard to zipper this doctor style bag. On the back here, I have my headphones bag and then sanitizer. Okay, this is gonna wear, be where it goes over my luggage. Okay, now something else is this bottom part is awesome because I have my hot logic in here. I'm gonna show you how I packed it, but this thing is so heavy and it was really hard once everything was full to get it like back on. So it's easy to detach. Okay, so that's very easy, comes right off. And then you have this, if you were using this as like a regular purse and not for a carry-on, like I'm using it for all my work trip stuff, this could be a purse, but it's too big for me personally. I do want to show you different ways you could fit stuff in here. So what I have right now is a microphone, if I wanted to podcast on the road, headphones, and then I have my Hot Logic, which is a portable microwave. Like I said in the beginning, it's basically like a heater for food. And inside of there, I have my mouse for my computer and my big, big external hard drive. So it's a huge external hard drive that I have in there. My card reader. So I kind of like use this as another bag because all this stuff I would only be using on my layover. So it's never gonna have to be detached unless I'm in my room. So I basically put stuff that I don't need easy access to because it's supposed to be like a shoe bag. So like if you're a flight attendant and you were thinking about using it as an in-flight bag to put your shoes in, I don't know, I don't think that's really realistically easy because 
you're sometimes you're rushing onto the plane and you have to get your your in flights on or get your heels out or whatever if you were on standby or whatever it may be you know and so it might not be e too easy to detach this when getting on the aircraft wow you guys i actually am pretty much sweating from doing all that that was a lot of work. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. I will say I think there's gonna be a lot of trial and error for me as far as working trips. So I will definitely report back to you and do an actual review based off of just packing and doing everything I was just doing in this video. I do feel like the bottom compartment is an amazing feature if you wanna take that off and just use the smaller bag like to go around town or something like that. I just think that if you are going to be needing things out of the bottom compartment on an actual flight, it might be a little difficult to get off and on. That's just me. Also, I can just tell you based off of looking at this bag, which is so heavy by the way, cause I have so much stuff in it, but okay. Just looking off this, this is not going to fit underneath your seat. So I will do a proper review, like I said, where I will show you how it goes down the aisle and it goes underneath the seats. I will report back to you. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. It's something new that I did on my channel. So I was just trying it out. I was really inspired by some other creators that were doing uh, what's in my bag. And so I thought it would be really fun, especially with the basically launch of my new podcast. So excited for that. Once again, that's called What The Flight Radio. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave a comment. Let me know how you think the bag works or if this was helpful for you. I will see you in the next video.